comes to everybody it's about humor humor not jokes actually but humor a light hearted feeling so i thought i'll share these you know what i had taken down long time ago to you uh, all these that i'm going to read out from my compiled book beyond personality collected works on self awareness and personal growth i'm reading that i'm going to read that from this book few things i thought it's very interesting uh, humor i thought i thought of sharing that with you all okay so allow me to read and explain there's a saying that even the gods love humor so listen to this and see how you feel these are actual quotes actually what the doctors had written on medical records you know somebody had compiled all this and put it out so these are quotes from actual medical records this was not created by someone these jokes were not written by someone but actual reports medical reports from medical records obviously written by those clinicians doctors technicians and so on it it's humorous the first one by the time he was admitted his rapid heart had stopped and he was feeling better right second one patient has chest pain if she lies on her left side for over a year these are actual medical records mind you third one on the second day the knee was better and on the third day it had completely disappeared now what disappeared only the writer knows fourth one the patient has been depressed ever since she began seeing me in 1983 great na huh? fifth one the patient is tearful and crying constantly she also appears to be depressed this is how a doctor had written sixth one discharge status alive but without permission the patient will need disposition and therefore we will be met by dr blank to dispose him off right <laughs> seventh healthy appearing decrepit 69 year old male mentally alert but forgetful eighth one the patient refused an autopsy i want to remind you all these are actually written medical records ninth one the patient has no past history of suicides lovely na 10th one the patient expired on the floor uneventfully 11th one the patient has left his white blood cells at another hospital I mean, how can they write all these? But they were written. These are actual records. 
Twelfth one, the patient was becoming more demented with urinary frequency. Now what that means, only the guy who wrote this will understand. Thirteenth one, the patient's past medical history has been remarkably insignificant with only a 40 pound weight gain in the past three days. What did you hear? 40 pound weight gain in the past three days. Next one. She slipped on the ice. This is very interesting. She slipped on the ice and apparently her legs went in separate directions in early December. <laughs> the last one for the day. The patient left the hospital feeling much better except for her original complaints. I don't know how you take all this, but once in a while, in spite of our stress and tension and what have you, we have to find some time to look at life and everything in a humorous way. No, I'm not saying you should run away from sorrow, pain, suffering and what the horrible things that are going on in the world. Uh, run away from that, turn your head this way. No, 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 I'm not saying that at all. In fact, there are people who look at everything in a humorous way. Even when somebody is scolding them, they take it in a lighter way. I mean, nothing will make them serious. There are such people. Look around. Observe. You'll find. You'll come across a lot of these people taking life so lightly. Right? People with serious illnesses. I mean, how do they smile? How do they laugh? How do they look at everything humorously? I don't know. But that's a fact. So, whether we are serious, humorous, it all depends on your you know, upbringing. What have, you, what have you really understood from life? What have you understood looking at yourself? There are people who go on saying, there is nothing serious in life. I don't know. So, humor... Whether it comes from you or someone else. You know, when you really know how to listen without your past conditioning coming into being, without your conditioned mind creating a block, when you really know how to listen, shravanam, listening, then you will see things clearly, including humor. That's how many of these people who took down all these, you know, who collected all this and gave that to us because they wanted us to see the lighter side of life. It's beautiful. Again, I'm repeating, we are not escaping from the painful aspects of life. No, that is not the intention at all. Once in a while, read jokes. Watch people, observe them. I mean, you, the sense of humor is everywhere if you know how to observe. So this is what I wanted to share with you all today. Humor, the sense of humor. All of us have. Yeah, people have asked me personally, what are you so serious about? What for? Yeah, maybe those days I didn't understand, but now I think I do. So humor is very much part of life. They say humor is a human quality. No, I don't think so. Even animals may have humor. 
possibly right so yeah life is beautiful one can never understand life through the intellect never life is an is a direct experiencing that's why in sanskrit we have this word anubhuti direct experiencing instead of borrowing ideas and thinking and thoughts from other people all the time don't ever ask people please tell me what to do what to do in life yeah i can ask a computer expert well, please teach me how to do this we are not talking about that tell me what to do in life no all of us know the answers provided all of us look at ourselves humor is one of those aspects when you and i including me we learn how to look at ourselves lightly maybe humor is there time and again you know even the great rishis and sages i have seen personally you know the great krishna ji laughing muji laughing i mean it's infectious when they laugh it's i mean you can't but laugh it's not laughing teasing somebody no 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 this this is humor that's why the word humor is not a joke humor the light heartedness the tendency not to take anything seriously walk with a long face no serious thinking no no all right so let's find out whether this is possible this kind of looking at life and people and things is possible Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Pranams to all of you.